we're so asking you might be qu- walking away, Tommy. Walking away from the best thing that's ever happened to you. <laughs> do you mean being kicked out? <laughs> is that what's going on? Or do you mean being walked with a leash because that's how I'm being treated in the household? <laughs> because my miso is talking to the dog way more affectionately than she talks to me. We've got a little foster dog. She calls it handsome. She calls me cute. And she says, hey, babe. And then I respond and she goes, no, the dog. I'm talking to the dog. I think that's a bit weird. I'm not sure about calling a dog babe. I find that. I mean, I didn't want to go hard on her because I don't know her super well, but I think that's weird. Yeah, well, I think calling a Shih Tzu handsome is weird too. Oh, that's just trying to help it, you know, feel better about itself. Cause it's just <laughs> the opposite of handsome. <laughs> <laughs> Your um, ego is better than the dog's. You're right. Dog I don't know, mate. <laughs> well, uh, we have another Natalie on the line. Get her, Nat. Hi, how are you? Good. Talk to us. I can't believe you chose another Nat and not this Nat. I mean... Wow. (laughs) Nat. (laughs) That's a strong intro. He's up for grabs if you treat him better than you treat a dog. (laughs) Well, I probably won't because uh, I've just... um, We've just purchased um, a seven-month-old Cavoodle. His name is Oscar. And currently in the king-size bed at home, he sleeps with me and my husband is in my daughter's bed. Oh, my God. He hasn't got room in a king-size bed. <laughs> and also, when I get home from work, I open the door and, you know, he's working from home and everything. And I say, right, have you done the washing? Have you done the cleaning? What haven't you done? And I'm all angry. And then Oscar comes running up to me and it's like, oh, darling, how are you? How was your day? <laughs> <laughs> I know that tone so well. Women talk, yeah. that's the dog tone. Mm. Yes, it's baby, come to mummy. No, oh, I just, I'm just admire the fact that Natalie tried to pick you up, even though her hubby and daughter's at home. <laughs> I know, it's great. Well, she's got a king size bed to herself. Let's go to Michael. G'day, Michael. How are you going, guys? Yeah, great. Do you treat the pet better than your partner, or did, does your partner treat the hey, pet better? The pet treats, well, rules the house, mate. Um, yeah. He gets fed better than all of us. What, what's what, the, what, what is, is it? Um, like basically fresh salmon, fresh tuna, uh, fresh chicken. Um, I'm lucky to eat noodles. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cat, I'm guessing. Yeah, Is mate. Uh, blue yeah. Russian. Blue Russian, yeah. Beautiful. A blue Russian? <laughs> Sounds like yeah. you, you're quite a fan too, Michael. Yeah, mate. I actually love him to death, but um, yeah, Aww. he gets better, better than me, unfortunately. <laughs> Do, would you, Michael, would you like fresh salmon? Oh, man, I love it. <laughs> oh, would you? Okay. <laughs> love it, but uh, unfortunately it gets better than us, so. Good, Good on you, Michael. Let's what go about to the... Connie? <sighs> Connie, is it you or your hubby yeah. that treats the pet better? It's the husband. <laughs> what What does he do? <laughs> oh, Connie, you sound sad. What's he do? I'm not sad. I'm just, I'm a sucker for older men. Um, he calls it <laughs> precious. <laughs> precious. Princess. Precious. Pre- oh. Precious and princess. Sorry, princess, precious and princess. Well, and princess I get is nice, but and but you get Connie. <laughs> <laughs> what's the what's the dog's name? JJ. It's a Jack Russell um, cattle. Oh, it's a Jack it's a mixed mongrel. It's is a, it no, no, it's also... mongrel? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, princess is good. Connie, have you ever have you asked your hubby? Have, have you said, "Hey, can you call me princess"? <laughs> No, there's no point. He's 12 years my senior and he's an old man, so if you get it. Well, I mean, you're not talking with him very fondly. <laughs> hey, someone's got to deal with a man like that. That's why I got married to him. Wow. Wow. There's We're heaps going on here, because... <laughs> um, Con- Con- Connie, Connie, who are you hoping dies first, your husband or your dog? <laughs> Who do I love first? I don't look. It's a dog. Sure. I thought for the dog to be in my in my family. It didn't choose to come to us. We chose to have it. Wow. Yeah, a ray of sunshine. I like Connie. Connie. I know. Connie's so do I. Funny. It's fun, isn't it? It's fun. <laughs> Talk to me about other stuff, Connie. What else is happening in your world? <laughs> I'm currently doing a 4K walk because with a husband, it takes about an hour. With me, it takes about 45 minutes to 30 minutes. <laughs> Connie, can you have me hear you? No, I want to walk. He's at home. He's 63. Oh, okay. Listen, listen, he's 63. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And I'm, yeah. I'm 52 this year, so who's the biggest sucker, me or him? Yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. I am. <laughs> Connie, you're great. Do you remember what you, what you said in your vows, Connie? Do you remember? 
Yeah, I do remember crying on the day. Is it because you were happy or sad? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the Carrie and Tommy show is not what you'd call calm and relaxing. Luckily, you can download the free Smiling Mind app today in collaboration with Medibank. It gives you a daily mindfulness and meditation guide at your fingertips. Carrie Bickmore and Tommy Little. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. Dubbo and the Central West. Keep 93.5. The of Carrie and Tommy. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Oh. It was Pippa's first day back at work today, and let's just say it threw me off a little bit. I, I forgot how to do radio. Pippa and Allo, Hit 93.5. We're back again tomorrow, two of the week. Uh, that's on Fridays. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. We're just going to go to news. We're running late to news. We've got to go. We're back tomorrow. Throw uh, right, Get up with Pippa and Allo. Weekday mornings from 6. Oh, yeah. On Hit 93.5. Thanks to McDonald's, Dubbo and Wellington. Upsizing your home is easy. Live your dream with Macquarie Credit Union. If you're upgrading your home, organise your finance before you start looking. Macquarie Credit Union, Brisbane Street, Dubbo. Normal lending criteria, terms and conditions, fees and charges apply. Australian Credit Licence number 241132. In a perfect world, everything would always go to plan. But when running a business, things happen when you least expect it. So when it comes to your valued assets, it always pays to have the right insurance. Stephen Gunn and David Grant from Elders Insurance live and work local, so they understand exactly what you need. For a locally owned and operated service-based provider, get the team at Elders Insurance to tailor a business, farm or commercial package perfect for you. Elders Insurance Western Plains, 6881 4777. R&D Battery Service was outstanding. They put a new battery in on the spot. Great prices and a huge range. Fast, friendly and professional. Highly recommended. Yep, love R&J. Wouldn't go anywhere else. At R&J Batteries, you can expect friendly, knowledgeable staff, competitive pricing and efficient service every time. Drive in today for free battery testing and fitting at R&J Batteries at 96 Erskine Street, Dubbo. Or phone 1300 769 282. Fast lane drive through coffee, happy in a cup. Need a little lift when you're driving around. It comes in a cup, it's a toast to the town. Fast and convenient, our own special blend. We got food and snacks where you take away friends. Fast lane drive through coffee, happy in a cup. Old Street, White Street, and Hawthorne Street, Dubbo. The humble loaf of bread has transformed into so many different forms. It gave rise to the bun, the focaccia, and top of pyramid, the cake. So, you see, change is good. The Village Bakery Cafe is undergoing its own change, turning it from a simple, unsweetened piece of dough through the ovens of renovations to become the Village Bakehouse Dubbo. Along with the change comes their new website. Bite into the newly baked Village Bakehouse Dubbo or order at villagebakehouse.com.au. Make the most of your business and its image with Rhino Promotions. Need inspiration? Rhino Promotions are here to help you plan the perfect promotion with their range of high-quality products, embroidery, screen printing, promotional items, corporate wear, trophies. Check out rhinopromotions.com.au or head to White Street Dubbo. Ooh, Rhino Promotions. Rhino Promotions, promoting you. Right now, please remember all of the local businesses that have always been there for you. The ones who've supported your school event, your sporting club, your charity fundraiser. Now more than ever, those local businesses need you. Spartan's Pizza, Pasta and Ribs is open for delivery and takeaway. You can order online at spartanspizza.com.au. Spartan delivers within five kilometres of the store. Spartan's located right here in Dubbo at 18 Cobra Street. Please support our local businesses. Macquarie Anglican Grammar School would like to wish everyone a safe and relaxing holiday and that they are looking forward to the Spring Fair on September 21. Macquarie Anglican Grammar School, demonstrating faith, community, character and excellence. The drama event of the year explodes tonight on nine. She double-crossed Australia's most notorious gangsters. They need me and I'm in control. They're not your friends, Nick. Bella Scott Lynch, Guyton Grantley and an all-star Aussie cast in the untold story. Comes at the centre of it all. Of Lawyer X. 
Informer 3838 premieres tonight at 8.45 on 9. Tonight from 7 with Ash London Live. Tonight it is Oz Music Monday on Ash London Live supporting our incredible Australian artists. We're chatting with Tash Sultana and Azuri Ryder. So make sure you tune in tonight. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. Follow Carrie and Tommy on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at Carrie Tommy Show. Dubbo boom, boom, in the Central boom, West. Boom. Hit 93.5. I've been, I've been on my own for long enough. Maybe you can show me how.